so in the last class uh, we have gone through some of the terminologies we use in syntax analysis and uh, we have discussed the concept of derivation the leftmost derivation uh, the rightmost derivation and also we have discussed one of the important data structure that will be populated in the in this entire chapter of syntax analysis that is called derivation tree or syntax tree now this when we are going to create this syntax tree the order of derivation is irrelevant okay so so whether i use leftmost derivation Or, uh, or rightmost derivation I will get the same syntax tree understand but what it matters is the choice of the production that means for a given non-terminal T suppose I have two rules so rule one and another is rule two then on the basis of which rule I am selecting for a given non-terminal the tree data structure may change okay and hence the syntax tree may change so just to give you a small example suppose I have a grammar T is R then T is small a capital T small c then R can be epsilon and R can be capital R capital B capital R now as a part of quiz uh -huh, let me give you a small exercise derive the leftmost uh, derive the string so the string let the input string be a a b b b c c so Derive this string a a b b b c c using the grammar using this grammar and use leftmost derivation first and then use the rightmost derivation. Okay. Now let us try to see how this how I can create two different syntax tree by the choice of different by taking different rules for a given non-terminal. So so let me write it down. T, so my grammar was T is R, R is A, then T, then C, then R can be epsilon and R can be R, B, R. So currently I have three possible productions for the given non-terminal R. So when I am substituting R by a, the right hand side, I need to decide then. So so one way of deriving this a a b b b c c suppose i am creating a syntax tree for this input string then how oh, one way the tree will look like is like this so i'll start with a starting non terminal so suppose this is my starting non terminal t then this is uh, so i'll replace t by 
sorry this is t is ltc sorry so i'll replace t by atc okay now this t i'll further replace by r further replace again by atc okay now this t i'll have r this r i'll have r then B, then again R, okay. Now this R, I'll, I can again have R, B, R. This R will be empty, if silent. This R again, I can have R, B, R. And this R will be empty. Understood? And this R is empty. So, so if I traverse from the leaf nodes from left to right, then what I get? A, A, then B, then again B, then again B then b to c and then again c to c okay so you just put a do an uh, a prefix traversal okay you will get the strings from first left then uh, then uh, then you will print the rightmost thing so so this way this is one way of creating a syntax tree for this input string i may have I can so let us see whether I can create another syntax tree or not okay so let me write it down so so let us start so I start with the starting non terminal T and I create ATC first okay a T I substitute by the second rule ATC then for the this T what I did I again replace it and make it as R okay now this R I again replace it with B and R okay now instead of going left here what I can do is I can take this R with an empty production so instead of so so, so if I number it as 1 2 3 4 here is the so earlier what I did I replaced this R by the fourth rule RBR but instead of that I can use the third rule also and if that is the case then my R will be replaced by epsilon Understood? but the right thing for the rightmost thing what I can do I can replace it again by RBR Understood? so so for the leftmost non-terminal I replaced it I was uh, I uh, replaced it with rule number four but now I replaced it with rule number three and for the rightmost thing I replaced it with rule number four okay and if that is the case then my so this will be if silent and then this will, uh, for this R again I will replace it R and then epsilon epsilon so again if you do a left to right traversal you will get a a then b okay then b then b then c then c okay so in this way so here we can infer that if i am taking a different rule for a given non terminal the tree structure may be different okay so here it so here it is a clear example so the we say that for a given grammar and a given input string if i can create two different syntax tree then the grammar is called ambiguous okay so let me write it down for a given 
grammar and a given input string if more than one syntax tree can be created using the rules of the grammar then the grammar is said to be ambiguous okay but in syntax analysis the main job of syntax analysis is to create this tree data structure and we cannot afford to have two different uh, structure for a given pattern using a grammar at a different for a for input string one if I am getting a tree one and for the same kind of input string if I am getting another uh, tree at another time then it is it is not affordable okay so what is the main goal of uh, syntax analysis is first to convert that grammar to what we call as an unambiguous grammar okay then only I can apply that unambiguous grammar and create a parse tree understood so so let me just give you a picture so initially for a given grammar G what I had is I have two different syntax trees T1 and T2 possible and this is unambiguous yeah this is ambiguous grammar okay now I use some methods we'll discuss what these methods are we use some methods to convert that G to G dash first okay so that this grammar is unambiguous okay now the tree it will be selected is either t1 or t2 I don't know but it will always create either t1 or t2 if I follow the rules of grammar GTS okay now the question is how do I know that a grammar is ambiguous okay this is the main main uh, query we should you should ask means how will I know that a grammar is ambiguous frankly speaking to decide whether a grammar is ambiguous or not is uh, is a hard problem what we call as an NP hard problem so that does not exist a definite algorithm to decide that a given grammar is ambiguous but but if I can show that for, for a given input string this grammar is creating two different syntax tree then it is ambiguous okay but there is no such definite algorithms to prove that and also it is even more harder to show that a given grammar is not ambiguous okay so what people use they use some heuristics okay one such heuristic I'll uh, let you know that suppose in a given grammar my production is of kind n is n alpha n okay where n is a non-terminal and I am replacing it with n alpha n where alpha is a terminal and then this grammar will be ambiguous okay because I don't know uh, whether to whether to uh, means uh, apply the non-terminal on the leftmost thing first or the rightmost thing okay so we'll discuss this in more details in the next class okay.